everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jaylin with Basic the Beauty here on YouTube and yes if you clicked on this video then you know what time that is. It is time for a Dollar Tree haul and oh my goodness I I don't know what's crazier to me the fact that we are already entering the second month of 2021 and it's already going to be February or that I'm actually in the flesh and sitting down to film a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. The fact that I've been able to find some time to sit down and film a Dollar Tree haul after going hiatus for about two years almost, that's insane to me. And I'm sure if you are a long follower of mine, then you are also probably like, what, is this real? Is Jalen really back? And yes, I am, would you believe it? It only took me almost two years, but we're here. I just wanted to let you guys know that yes, normally when I do my Dollar Tree hauls, if you're a long follower of mine, you know that normally my Dollar Tree hauls consist of like a gift giving format where I usually buy specific items to categorize or group together as a gift. However, this haul is not going to be like that. So I know if you're a long follower of mine and you clicked on this video hoping for that, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to disappoint you, but that's not what's going to be the format for this video. This video is just pretty much just little items that I picked up that I was genuinely excited about or it, it was new to me at the Dollar Tree. So you can still incorporate these into gifts, you know, or just buy it for yourself. I'm just saying. I just want to give you a little quick disclosure for that. So... I do have quite a few items to go over with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first item that I picked up was this two-piece set of hot and cold iPads. Now they are Valentine's Day themed, so of course they are heart-shaped, which I think is absolutely adorable. It does say on the package that they help to relieve puffy eyes, they are reusable, and they can be used either heated or chilled. The instructions on the back say that you can chill it in the refrigerator at any time, but be careful to not freeze them. They can be heated up too, of course, if you put them in the microwave for about 5 to 10 seconds, which I think is really nice and convenient. I personally don't think that I will use them on my eyes necessarily, but instead I will heat them up to warm up my hands or feet in the wintertime in my apartment since my husband and I rarely ever turn on our heater. So the next three items that I picked up were these really cute Valentine's Day socks. Now my Dollar Tree had quite a few different options to choose from but these were the three that were my favorites and as you can see here I picked up this really fun red and gray striped cat themed pair of socks and they are so cute. They're wearing these heart-shaped sunglasses and they're holding a valentine, which is so cute. I also picked up this super adorable French Bulldog pair of socks. And what I like most about them is the heart detailing and the rose in its mouth. It is so cute. And of course, lastly, I picked up this super fun sloth pair of socks that they are wrapped around a heart and what I love most about this pair is that the sloth actually has a very 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 soft texture to it which is so fun and I'm obviously most excited about this pair. Now these socks are all low cut and honestly in my opinion they are incredibly soft and if you are a longtime follower of mine then you know that I like to purchase my socks from the Dollar Tree I've done it before and I've always loved them, especially the theme socks. They are my favorites and I think for the quality with this price, you cannot beat it. Now since the next special occasion holiday after Valentine's Day is of course St. Patrick's Day, my Dollar Tree has started to put out all of their St. Patrick's Day items. Now, I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day personally, so I didn't spend too much time in this section. But I will say if you do love St. Patrick's Day or choose to celebrate it, then I would highly recommend that you check out your local Dollar Tree because they had tons of fun items for St. Patrick's Day that I think you would absolutely love. Now I did purchase 
two of these adorable and super cute pairs of soft socks that are, of course, St. Patrick's Day themed. However, as you can see, the first pair is a llama wearing a leprechaun hat, which is so cute. And then, of course, the other pair is an adorable French bulldog with four leaf clovers on it. And I think they're both so cute and they would be so fun and cozy to wear around the house to lounge in or to double up in layers if you're out in the cold weathers. So the next two items that I picked up were these two face mask extension lanyards. And as you can see here, they look like little dainty gold chain lanyards with pearl, pearl peatings on them. Now obviously they are advertised to be used to hold your face mask in place around your neck when you're not wearing them. However, when I originally purchased these, I was thinking that there might have been some way that I could use these as a lanyard to hold my sunglasses. But now that I've actually taken them out of the packaging, that will not work. And that's because the lanyard is far too short for it to look good, in my opinion. And the chain ends in like two little clasps that are similar to a necklace backing. And obviously that does not stay on my sunglasses. So I will say if you are thinking about purchasing these items to please only use them for its intended purpose to hold your mask and of course not to use on your sunglasses. All right, so the next few items that I picked up were hair accessory related. And the first four items are these beautiful hair scrunchies. Now, as you can see here, these first two scrunchies are made out of like a velvety faux suede material. And they honestly feel like they're really good quality for being at the Dollar Tree. I did pick up two colors that I was able to find at my location which is like this beautiful dark green, almost like a forest green, and a light cream colored one. I do wish that they had more colors available, but I was very pleased to find at least two of these pairs. And of course, I also did find these two other scrunchies that are almost look like they are made out of like a silk material. And I just thought that these colors were absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, my cat thinks so too. Now these ones are like a light pink color and the other one is like some kind of animal print, I guess if you would say that. But either way, I absolutely love these hair scrunchies and I was super excited to see them at my Dollar Tree and I highly, highly recommend you to pick them up for yourself if you're like me and you love hair accessories. I also picked up this five piece set of hair scrunchies that I personally have never used this kind of style on myself before so I'm not exactly sure what to expect but I picked them up because one they were only a dollar and two I really really loved the colors I think they are bright and airy and they reminded me of springtime which is just around the corner so I figured if nothing else I would give them a shot since they were only a dollar. Alright, so this next item was one that I really, really kind of debated back and forth if I would show this in my haul or not, and that is honestly because this purchase was a huge fail, and I mean that truly. Honest to God, this was a huge fail, and here's why. I'm going to try one of these on really quick, so hold on. Let me show you guys what one of these looks like right now. The ones that I'm gonna try on first are the girl boss ones, because I thought these were seriously so insanely cute. So I'm gonna see if I can put these on. It's kind of weird because it's like the opposite. Oh, all right, and it just broke, so. So yeah, I'm sure you can imagine why I would say that these were such a huge disappointment. And I would obviously not recommend them to anyone. Despite these hairpins being so cute and affordable, obviously the quality is not there. So I just want to let you know now that if you see these the next time at your Dollar Tree to skip out on them because they are definitely not worth it. Moving on to the next item, I did purchase this really pretty and fun polka dotted set of fashion pens. They come in a set of three pens. They do have black ink. And normally, I don't really have that much success with purchasing pens at the Dollar Tree. However, I can confirm I have actually used these since filming this video, and they work amazing. Honestly, I'm very impressed with the quality, and I would highly recommend them to anyone. 
for the next item, I did pick up this really fun and adorable 3D standing rainbow calendar for 2021. And I just thought that this item was so cute. It would be so fun to put on a little kid's bedroom or on their desk, in their bedroom. I personally picked this one up to give to one of my nieces, but you can pick one up for yourself if you want. But either way, it's so cute and such a fun item at the Dollar Tree. So these next few items are beauty slash makeup related. And let me tell you guys, when I walked into my Dollar Tree and saw these, I honestly about died. Like, oh my goodness. These have got to be the most beautiful makeup brushes I have literally ever seen at the Dollar Tree before. I am not sure how many different kinds of brushes they have available in this style, but I did try my best to grab one of each of the brushes that I could find in my location, and I was able to find at least six of them, and honestly, these brushes are truly everything. So as you can see, we have a blush brush, a powder brush, an angled contour brush, an eyeshadow brush, a concealer brush, and a precision brush. You guys, I cannot get over how beautiful the detailing is on these brushes. I absolutely love the gold and the pink and even the ombre little crystal beads in the handle. Ugh. You guys, I died. These brushes are everything. Now, obviously, I haven't actually used them before, so I don't know how the quality is going to be or how well the brushes will hold up over time. I do feel like the hairs on the brushes are very soft. However, I mainly purchased these brushes to add in my decor for my makeup desk, but I am willing to give them a try in a video if that's something you guys would be interested in. So if you are, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. But even if you only purchase these for the aesthetics, I would definitely say that these brushes are worth it. Speaking of makeup brushes, the next item that I picked up was this purple diamond shaped silicone makeup brush cleaner. And I thought that this item might be cool to try out since I know these type of brush cleaners are really popular right now. And of course it might be more effective in cleaning my own makeup brushes since all I do right now is I use my hands to clean my brushes. But what I loved most about this item in particular was that it had suction cups on the bottom so you can easily stick this into your sink to clean your brushes and it stays put until you remove it. So for only a dollar I think it is well worth it. Alright, so moving on to the decor items now. I did pick up these two super adorable wooden decor cutouts that I'm very, very excited about. The first one that I found was this cute cartoon drawn llama where she is wearing a cute little crown and there are three different colored pom-poms that are glued along the edges, which I think is so cute. And the second one that I found was this cartoon cactus drawing that says antisocial on it, which is seriously like the last word I would ever use to describe myself since I'm an extrovert, but it did remind me of my husband who is an introvert and I just knew I had to have it. I think these are both super fun and would look really cute in any children's bedroom or bathroom, or if you're like myself and you're into crafting, then these would both be perfect for, for using in future DIYs. So the next three items that I picked up were these super adorable magnets. The first one is my absolute favorite and it says cat kisses fix everything, which is so true being a cat mom and everything. And the next one is donut themed. It says life is sweet, which is super cute and also very true. And then of course the last one, it has a milk and cookie walking hand in hand and it says friends forever, which is absolutely adorable. Now I have already put these magnets on my fridge since filming and they have held up really well. The next two items are these absolutely gorgeous hand painted mini ceramic vases. These vases are so beautiful and seriously they give me major anthropology fills. I love the colors and the detailing and as soon as I laid eyes on these at my Dollar Tree, they screamed high end to me. I don't know what it is about the colors pink, white, and yellow, but when I see all those three colors together, it just screams happiness to me, and I absolutely love that my Dollar Tree had these available. 
I will say, however, that if you get these, you will only be able to put fake plants in them as they do not have holes in the bottom to let water run out if you have real plants in these vases. So keep that in mind if you are looking to purchase these for yourself. All in all, I still think that they were a great find and I'm very excited to give these to someone special in my life. So these last few items were also found in the home decor section at Dollar Tree and they are these two beautiful sparkly and iridescent candle holders. So the first one that I picked up was this beautiful teal green shade and this gorgeous magenta pink shade. And you guys, these candle holders are honestly some of the most beautiful candle holders I have ever seen at a Dollar Tree before. I was very, very excited to see these at my Dollar Tree. The only thing that kind of ruined it for me was that these two were the last ones in the whole store and I wish I was able to get a set of two in each color so you can imagine how popular these are at Dollar Tree right now. But of course I saved the best for last and that would be these gorgeous crystal clear and iridescent candle holders. You guys, these are absolutely so stunning. Like they are even more beautiful in person, I promise you. I was able to snatch up the last four at my Dollar Tree and I'm actually hoping to use these as glassware for my bar cart station even though I know that they're advertised as candle holders. I think they're absolutely so beautiful and I feel like they would add a wonderful addition to my home and I can't wait to use these in my home decor. Alright guys, so that concludes it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I sure did, but if you did, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up before leaving this page, okay? I need those thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. We like to have a good time over here. I know I've been absent for a while, but I am back. I'm in the flesh and I'm ready to bring good content to you guys. So please feel free to join my family and also maybe leave me a comment down below. If you're new here, let me know what you're excited about most to see on my channel. Maybe what you loved most about this video or something that you're just excited about in general for the new year. You know, I do like to have DIYs on this channel. I love to have shopping hauls, anything fashion, beauty lifestyle related, you name it, we bring it all here. So if that is something that you're interested into, then make sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss my videos in the future. So without further ado, that wraps it up for today's video. I'm sorry this is a rather long video, but I'm so glad you guys got to hang out with me. I do greatly appreciate it. And as always, until next time, you guys stay safe, be great, be beautiful, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.